a truck rental company charges C of M equals 35 plus 0.5 M to rent a truck where C of M is the total rental cost in dollars and M is the number of miles driven. We're asked to determine the rate of change of the function and interpret their results and then determine the initial value of the function and interpret their results. Well, because our function is a linear function, the rate of change is the same as the slope of the line, which in this case would be the coefficient of the M term. So the rate of change for our function is equal to 0 0.5 or 5 tenths. To interpret the results, it's usually helpful to write the rate of change as a fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and write this as 0 0.5 over one. Now remember, slope normally is the ratio of the change of y to the change of x. Well, in this case, the change of y is actually the change in the function value or the change in cost. So this represents the change in cost in dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and put the units of dollars here, add a zero here. And this is the change in cost. And the change of x, or in this case the change of m, represents the change in the miles driven. So to interpret this, because they're both positive, there'll be an increase of 50 cents in cost for every one mile driven. So the total cost will increase 50 cents for every mile driven. Next, we're going to determine the initial value, which would be the function value when the input, or in this case, m, is equal to zero. So c of zero would just be 35 plus zero, which is 35. And again, because we have a linear function, the initial value will always be the y-intercept, or the value of b. So the initial function value equals 35. And to interpret this, remember the input is m, or the number of miles driven. So this is saying if we drive zero miles, the cost to rent the truck will still be $35. So we can say the cost to rent the truck without driving the truck is $35. This can also be called the fixed cost of renting the truck, which means this cost here is not affected by the number of miles driven. Okay, I hope this explanation helps.